bedroom boat. Great to see you, my friend. Thanks, Clearance Aaron. rates last weekend, what were they? Over 73%. So we've been hovering around that 70% mark for two months uh, consecutive now, which is terrific. Compared to this time last year, which was around 56%, we've got another 1,600 auctions tomorrow. RBA, what will they do? Well, we did have a slowdown in inflation for, yeah. for the month of May, which was, you know, quite quite a, a nice surprise for many people, especially mortgage holders. So you would think common sense would prevail and there'll be a pause next week on the interest rate hike. However, common sense hasn't always prevailed with the RBA, so we'll have to see what that capricious and, and unpredictable behaviour brings. I was going to use that word, they are unpredictable. Yes. During COVID, a lot of people went out regionally and some beautiful properties and they were able to work from home. Yes. Is the shine wearing off a little bit? Is it happening less and less now with bosses forcing people to go back to work? What's the market like A regionally? fraction. So we've, we've seen an increase of about 10% of people moving back to CBDs now. Right. Um, I mean, Noosa is a great example. It, it, it witnessed 35% growth over the pandemic and now about half of that has been eroded. But they're still way in front for people that own property in those regional and lifestyle areas. Yeah, I was up in Noosa a couple of days ago. Yeah, it's Gosh, it's a beautiful place. Hard right. to find parking though. Yeah. <laughs> Got to tell yeah, that's a punish. Uh, what is the sale of the week? I love seeing this because, yes. well, it's not something that I could ever afford, but I like to dream. So tell us this week. This is an incredible parcel of land, over a 1,000 square metres, waterfront Ooh. in Darling Point, Sydney, New South Wales. Uh, it's development application approved for four luxury residences. So, oh. yeah, it's sold for $55 million. So that's over $10 million per unit site without even construction. So amazing. What happens next with the property market? What kind of trends are you seeing? How does the rest of the year look? I think we will inevitably see more stock come onto the market because spring traditionally brings that. Plus, there must be people starting to feel the pinch of interest rates. Uh, I'm hoping that there's enough buyer inquiry to absorb that and that will ensure that we won't tip into that recession or any major correction in pricing, which is my prediction. So it's still, still a good time to be buying and selling. You warmed up your voice for tomorrow? Absolutely, yeah. We're Ready looking, to go? looking forward to five out of five uh, <laughs> tomorrow and six out of six last week. So Back yeah. yourself always, Absolutely. as you do. Okay, thank Absolutely. you so much.